Okay, my beauty addicts, I am back and I am ready to try out an amazing peel that I am super excited to test out on myself from Platinum Skincare. This right here is a skincare bible. I'm gonna be testing out the glycolic acid 50% peel. Now for the longest time I've been using 30% and I have used 70% although it was a different brand. Every brand is different, check your manufacturer's instructions. Some say you can use up to 50, others say you can use a little bit more, others say you use 30. This company recommends using up to 50 and with the 70 you're supposed to dilute it for body use. So anyhow, I'm gonna be reviewing the 50% and I have the manual. It's a very easy peel to prep for, follow the directions. Because I'm a cosmetologist and I'm licensed, the way I prep for mine is I cleanse and then I tone my face and then I use the peel prep. I do the peel, I neutralize, and then I do like a mask. Um, and that's pretty much just in here, but make sure you double check. So for glycolic acid, you can use it on acne skin, aged skin, fine lines. This is water soluble and good for all types. You might expect a light flaking or dry skin for two to three, two to three days after the peel. This is a 2.1 pH, so it's very acidic on the pH scale. And with the application, if it's your second time applying this peel, leave the 50% on for one to five minutes, and you can increase the time as desired. And I remember watching the video, and they, I guess they add some ingredient in the peel itself, like a menthol, to make it like cooling and not as intense with the itching feeling. Because glycolic acid, it's doesn't sting like lactic acid does. It has like a more of an internal itch to it and you just kind of want to scratch it. So I'm gonna get all set up and I'll be right back. All right, so for this glycolic peel, you will need a cleanser, a toner, peel prep solution A, your cup, your chemical peel, neutralizing solution, post peel neutralizer, smells amazing. And my personal favorite, a brush. I prefer to apply gly glycolic acid with a brush. If you don't wanna do the brush, you can do the gauze pad, which I personally don't prefer. I find that with the brush, it's easier to get it all across, make sure you have it all on there. Um, but to each their own, we all have our own preferences, how we like to apply our peels. So uh, let me start by getting my cotton pad out. And I'm gonna start by applying the peel prep solution. Now with this, it um, does have a funky smell because it's, it's rubbing alcohol. It's to defat the face, get all the oils off, get the skin ready to accept the peel. It's a must. And I just do one soup across. You want to be gentle, but you don't want to be like too firm with it because you don't want to hurt the skin if you're rubbing too hard. I'm going to do one more round. If you've never used a glycolic before, you don't want to jump up to 50. Um, what you want to do is start with the lowest one the company offers and then gradually go up. So like 30%, and you can even dilute the 30 if you're worried that's going to be too much. If you have very sensitive skin, I always recommend reading the dilution chart or contacting the manufacturer because you can start with the lower one and then gradually get your skin acclimated to using a higher one. Make sure to a glycolic acid, and I don't mention at the end, it's very important that after the peel for the two or three days of healing, you wear sunscreen. And I always recommend, even after you do a chemical peel, get in the habit of wearing a sunscreen or get a moisturizer with an adequate SPF. I prefer 30. 
That way you're keeping the insurance of your peels. You don't want to get this nice peel, whether it be professional or at your house, and then have the sun ruin it. Especially when you're healing from a peel and your skin is very sensitive, you don't want a sunburn on top of that because that just makes it a really bad experience. So I'm using the single trial bottle. They have great deals online. You can even get a glycolic kit. This doesn't really smell like much either. I'm just gonna pour this in here. So I'm gonna soak my brush. I'm just gonna swipe across like so. I got a little bit of tingling, but it's not bad. It kind of actually feels like it's a cooling sensation. So what I do is I start right at my forehead. I swipe across like so. You didn't see that method before. One sec. And then what I'll do is I'll go across like so. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be right back. I apply it like here. I'm gonna apply the rest of it with the brush. If you start applying like this, make sure you go back and apply it vertically just to make sure you didn't miss any places. It's always easier when you have someone helping you. And your skin will have a gloss look to it. So I'm gonna go process this for the five minutes and I'll be right back. All right, so the peel is processing and it tingles, but the tingling actually subsided. It does have like a minty, menthol-y feeling. So the, not, I don't wanna say burning, because that's not the right word, but like the internal itching is not as much as other brands that I have tried. So it is actually really good formulation that they added that menthol to it. It gives it a bit of a kick and it gives it a very nice selling point because it actually does what it claims. And I know I'm getting a little bit red, but this is how my skin reacts. It gets red and then when I neutralize it, it gets a lot better. So I'll come back so I can show you guys how to neutralize this. All right, so I am done processing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the post peel neutralizer. You also wanna know how your skin's gonna react because when I first started doing peels, I was shocked at how red I got at first. This is actually normal and I've been a lot redder, but the redness goes away within a few hours. All right, so I'm gonna take the neutralizer pad. I got it all soaked. It smells like tea tree oil and I'm gonna go from here swoop across. You might feel a stinging sensation with this and that's because there is a chemical reaction that is deactivating the acid. Go here, swipe across, swipe down. And this stops the action of the acid. It's pretty much like baking soda is what it is. You don't get any frosting with this peel, like the TCA peel, because unlike the TCA peel that usually shuts itself off, oh, ah, I'm a klutz today. This peel does not get its strength in layers, it gets its strength by percentage. And that is why it might take some time to notice results with this peel, but it's a lot safer than the TCA. But don't get me wrong, I love TCA. It's just that it's not for every skin type.
all right, so I am all neutralized. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go and do a mask. So I'm gonna go do a face mask. And then after that, I'm going to use a moisturizer and then put a sunscreen on. And this redness should all dissipate. And I'm gonna come back to show you guys the finished result. And I'm gonna talk about additional things regarding the glycolic peel. So everyone, I wanna end this uh, video talking about my experience with the 50% glycolic acid peel from Platinum Skincare. And overall, I have to say that when I used 50%, I was actually really impressed with the product. With chemical peels, the way it works is you wanna start with the smallest one, as I said before, and work your way up. Now, when it comes to timing, here's where it gets interesting. After you've been using an acid for a while, you can actually increase the timing as desired. You can go a little bit more than what the directions say. I know other brands will suggest that you can go very long um, with the peel on your face. So make sure you're following your manufacturer's instructions and even reaching out to the company. I love Platinum Skincare because they do care about their clients. If I ask them a question, I get an immediate answer through email, through chat, through Facebook, even YouTube. There's so many ways to contact this company and I really am impressed with the uh, owner of it because she did an amazing job at creating her skincare products and working with the ingredients and also being mindful about how people are gonna feel. So I, when I watched the YouTube video, adding that menthol-like ingredient in the glycolic peel was smart because some clients that are very sensitive, like, like I love my mom, but when I do a chemical peel on my mom, she is ready to kill me. I'll put it on her and she'll be like, oh my God, and it's only like 20% glycolic acid, which is nothing. She actually has better skin than I do. Um, but with my skin, I found that by using the stronger one, over a longer period of time, I got better results. And I do wanna add that the glycolic peel is very good if you are darker on the Fitzpatrick scale because glycolic acid, it gets its strength from the percentage as well as the timing. Whereas the TCA peel, because everyone is so quick to jump on the TCA and want to throw it on and do it at home, know that TCA has more steps and there's also a small but real chance that you can have a bad reaction and get post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation if you have darker skin, leading to additional peels and treatments. So that being said, I will say that with the TCA peel, if you're gonna do TCA, first consider doing the glycolic acid because I found that if you do glycolic acid, even at 30% over a series of many peels, in about one year, you will notice a major difference in your skin. TCA peels, on the other hand, they get their strength by how many times they're applied, and that's where it gets uh, shaky ground because if you frost, that's usually when you wanna stop uh, because you've gone um, deep enough. The glycolic peels, you normally won't frost at all. You might get a little bit here and there, depending on how your skin reacts. I find that here in the T area, it's more sensitive, it's thinner skin, and you might see a little bit more redness there as well as uh, some frosting potentially here. I didn't feel any of that. And with the glycolic peel, I did not have any peeling or any flaking. You may for a few days. I felt like my skin was very dry here and there, and I was a little red here, there, and up here where I had my problem areas. So expect that. If you have um, a lot of acne scars, pock marks, that's where it's gonna get red first. It may feel extra dry and flake. And the more you do it, the better it will look. So I definitely um, give this company and this peel high remarks. I think that it is a must have if you are a skincare junkie like I am or a cosmetologist like I am. If you are opening up a day spa or getting into the skincare industry, please contact Platinum Skincare because I guarantee they'll do something to help you out because having their name under the products is gonna be very helpful in the future. Even one order, you get these, um, I call this the Peel Bible. You get this in every order. You get a free uh, trial size of any product that you want when you do any order with them. And they'll even lay it out for you. Like if you get the glycolic peel, it'll say commonly purchased with, it'll, you can give you the option of the neutralizer, the gauze pads, all that stuff that you'll need. So it's a great product. It's definitely worth um, the money's worth. And if you're not sure if you want to try, you know, glycolic, mandelic acid, salicylic, you can always order the 0.5 milliliter single size. And that's for one entire peel. Make sure you use all of it. That is the one that I always recommend getting. And I've been trying out each and every peel from them because I want to get a good, um, idea of what they sell. Eventually when it's colder out, I'm gonna do the Jessner's peel, which I'm very excited. That's very similar to the TCA peel, but it's more gentle and it's not as um, intense. And it also gets its strength from how many layers that you have. So I think I covered that all. I know you can also do body peeling. This company does have the highest percentage with the glycolic is a 70%. So like I was saying, um, the company does not recommend doing the 70% on your face. It's recommended for body peeling. 
Also, sorry about that. My camera was flashing. It normally gives me a like 10 or 5 second countdown when my space is almost up. Um, but anyhow, if you do purchase the 70% glycolic acid, please listen to the manufacturer's directions and don't put it on your face. Um, I know us as professionals, we like to be experimental. I've personally done it and I never had a bad experience. Other companies will recommend doing 70% glycolic acid on your face. And I know if you go to a medical esthetician, they can do that percentage all over. But this company doesn't recommend it. They say do it for body peeling, for sunspots. Glycolic acid is your best friend if you have sunspots or post hyperpigmentation inflammation. I'm, yeah, I think it's that post inflammation hyperpigmentation. That's what it is. If you have that, it can help uh, get rid of that. So if you have a bad experience at a TCA, a glycolic can counteract that. So when it comes to TCA versus glycolic, I know the evidence is. I mean, the jury is still kind of out on it, but if you read some of the studies, a lot of the studies favor a longer term use of a glycolic peel just because you do see results and over time the results are better. Whereas a TCA peel is really good, it does take off layers and it's great for deep set wrinkles. If you have very fine lines like I do, you should definitely be using a glycolic peel. So, with that being said, um, I recommend buying it. I do want to know from my viewers down below if you have tried any kind of platinum skincare products, whether you have read through their peel bible or you've tried any of their skincare products like the serums, the healing blends, the triple treat, or if you tried any of their peels. I have tried their mandelic acid, their TCA peel, and the lighter version of their glycolic. I am going to try their salicylic acid peel coming up in a future video, which I'm super excited for, and I might try their lactic acid. So this is it for my glycolic peel review. In the future, I'm gonna re be reviewing a higher percentage. So please be sure to check that one out if you're curious, because I like to do all kinds of experimenting on my skin. And I'll see you guys soon.